The word on the street typically is if somebody smokes, they get lung cancer. Uh, while there are parts of it that are true, nearly 15% of lung cancers happen in patients who have never smoked cigarettes in their lifetime. Uh, we don't understand exactly all the reasons that go behind why those people develop lung cancers, but when you go into each individual situation, there's either a secondhand smoke exposure because of household smoke exposure in a family member or a beloved one, or they may have some environmental carcinogens such as radon, asbestos, uh, that could all cause lung cancer. Despite these, we still don't know why somebody who's never smoked cigarettes, who doesn't have any of these risk factors we talked about, develops lung cancer, and that's something that we're trying to understand better. What we do know is patients who get lung cancer without smoking tend to have better outcomes compared to patients whose lung cancer was from smoking cigarettes. Uh, patients who have lung cancer that have never smoked cigarettes also tend to have some specific mutations in their cancer more often than smokers and those mutations can be targets for therapy. So there are some clear differences in lung cancer that occurs in somebody who's never smoked cigarettes and people who have smoked cigarettes. So we need to look beyond lung cancer as just being a smoker's disease and try to understand each patient's individual situation and develop treatment approaches and preventative approaches appropriately.